Dragonfly Swarm, what's up? Feixiao has been out for a little over a week now, and it's become quite common knowledge quite quickly that she's one of the strongest DPS characters in the game currently, especially for modes like MOC and Apoch Shadow, but part of that is thanks to Robin. As a powerful buffer who specializes in dual DPS slash follow-up teams, it was to be expected that Robin would work so well with Feixiao, but it's interesting to note that their synergy together is quite literally unmatched, and for better or for worse, no other support unit in the game currently comes anywhere close close to being as powerful in Fei Xiao's teams as Robin is. So today, I'm gonna discuss everything you need to know about why Fei Xiao and Robin are so broken with each other, including how they work together, comparing Robin to other powerful support characters, discussing the intricate details of how to build them together, and then finally showcasing and explaining their strongest teams together. Before I start as usual though, if this video helps you, please subscribe because it helps my channel a lot. Alright, let's talk about the murderous wind lady and her unlikely best friend, the pop star, Sabrina Carpenter. Robin Robin and Fifth. <laughs> <clears throat> Robin and Feixiao are two such characters that fall quite distinctly into the follow-up attack niche, but to dilute that explanation a little bit, it's more so that characters like Robin find the most use for their buffs in teams where characters are attacking very often, be it through one singular extremely fast character, theoretically, or more commonly, multiple characters who may also be able to chain follow-ups alongside their teammates or their own attacks. Robin's massive team-wide damage percent buff on her skill will last for multiple turns, allowing for a massive window of time for characters to capitalize on it, but but further than that, her ultimate, with the help of her A4 Trace, grants an absurdly large attack buff to allies and allows Robin to add damage of her own onto every attack an ally makes for as long as her ultimate is active. This means that Robin significantly elevates teams that attack frequently, and thus I am in fact alluding to Fei Xiao teams. Fei Xiao by herself does not enjoy significantly more value from Robin's buffs than other similar FUA characters, but thanks to her ultimate and more specifically her talent, which allows her to strike enemies with an FUA anytime an ally attacks, up to once per turn, Fei Xiao's entire playstyle revolves around working with fast acting teams to not only significantly increase her own attack frequency, but also the attack frequency of all of her strongest teammates. Doing this promotes quick stack building for her ultimate, which as you can imagine, promotes significant increases in your Fei Xiao's total damage output. But the reason this ends up working so unbelievably well with Robin is because Fei Xiao's entire gimmick pretty much requires her to be paired with a secondary DPS unit, like Topaz or March 7th Hunt or Moza. These sub DPS units work amazing with Fei Xiao because they can very easily chain FUAs off of one another for more damage and more Fei Xiao ultimate stacking, but this also wildly increases the amount of attacks that are being buffed by Robin, and increases the rate at which Robin's ultimate can charge since her passive gives her energy whenever a teammate attacks. That is to say, as true as it is that follow up teams have obviously existed since long before Fei Xiao and are still very strong without her, Fei Xiao in particular promotes the use of such teams that Robin not not only perfectly fits into, but also elevates to ridiculous extents. It should be noted too that Fei Xiao benefits more than usual from Robin's one-of-a-kind team-wide action advance because she can trigger her own follow-ups by using her skill, and therefore benefits greatly from action advance techniques where she can force reset her turn and perform even more follow-ups triggered both by herself and her teammates. To sum that all up, Fei Xiao's kit works terrifyingly well with Robin's, and the teams that Fei Xiao needs in order to be at her strongest are, ironically, also the exact team teams that allow Robin to funnel energy far more efficiently, and utilize her on-hit damage bonuses far more frequently than usual. With that all in mind though, I want to discuss a bit about how much stronger Robin is than any other support for Fei Xiao. On the screen is a little bit of math, which was calculated by the Fei Xiao mains community from her official live release, and it shows a comparison of total team DPS when you use Robin or swap her out for other buffers. The obvious and important thing to note is that on average, in Fei Xiao's strongest teams with Fei Xiao, Topaz, and Aventurine, Robin's in Inclusion provides almost 28% more total team DPS than even the second best option for buffers. Behind Robin as your best option for this team and similar variants is Branya, and by using Branya, you're losing out on what you can safely assume is generally over 25% damage potential, which is absolutely absurd for better or for worse. This is, again, because Fei Xiao teams are very much oriented around fast and frequent attacks from multiple teammates, which works amazing for someone like Robin, whose entire kit is team-centric, but significantly falls off 
with other supports who either are not as specialized for these teams or cannot provide the entire team with their powerful buffs. Characters like Branya and Sparkle are great examples of this. Their buffs aren't bad at all for Faisha out, but the problem is neither of these characters consolidate multi-turn buffs or team-wide buffs nearly as efficiently and effectively as Robin does. So while you will be buffing your Faisha out, you won't be buffing her other substantially powerful sub DPS teammates, or you won't be buffing them for more than one turn so their multiple FUAs won't get buffed, or your team wide buffs aren't nearly as potent as they are from Robin, etc, etc, etc. Robin's ability to consolidate powerful buffs with multi turn durations and provide extra on hit damage, which gets stronger the more your team attacks, and action advance the entire team, which Fei Xiao makes great use of, and get a return on energy every time the team attacks, makes her, bar none, the strongest support for Fei Xiao, and it is not even close. But equally, it also makes Fei Xiao the greatest enabler of Robin's kit in the entire game currently, because her playstyle and teams revolve so heavily around everything Robin needs to come online and provide her value. So on both sides of this equation, these two characters are elevating one another significantly. Ugh, <sighs> and now that I've properly glazed, I'm gonna tone it down a bit and start discussing how you'll need to consider these two characters and their builds when slapping them in a team together. <clears throat> so, starting with Fei Xiao, in a team with Robin, you will want all her standard best equipment. That means to start you should decide between a four-piece Wind Soaring set or a four-piece Grand Duke set. They're both designed quite nicely for Fei Xiao, and while Wind Soaring does generally come out on top as her best and is easier to min-max on, Grand Duke can be very competitive, so generally speaking, you can kinda just equip whichever one has better substats. But with regard to her best planars, Fei Xiao has the highest DPS potential with the Duran set, but to be entirely honest, so many other planars come so close behind it that your best options once again somewhat depend on your substats. Izumo works great since all of her best teams include a hunt sub DPS, but Inert Salsado can also be almost equally as good as the other two options, and there are even several others that perform similarly, but these three will typically be your strongest to choose from. So moving on to your Fei Xiao stats and whatnot, for your artifacts, you should be looking for a crit body piece prioritizing crit rate since she'll already be receiving so many crit damage buffs from other sources in combat, but also you'll generally want to choose between either speed boots or attack percent boots. The typical recommendation I would give is speed boots since it'll help you to hit important breakpoints, most notably the 134 speed breakpoint, but if your team has lots of high frequency attacking characters who can easily charge up her ultimate stacks, attack percent boots can actually end up superior on Fei Xiao, so keep those considerations in mind when choosing between your boot main stat options. For your sphere, obviously you should work toward a wind damage piece if possible, but attack percent can work as a temporary alternative. And finally for your rope, always just go with attack percent. So overall, Fei Xiao's stat goals are pretty easy to work with, so we're just gonna kinda go down the list. Your speed goal should either be reaching the 134 or 143 breakpoint if you're running speed boots on her, but if you're running attack percent boots, assuming you're properly accommodating her burst stacks, you can generally just keep her at base 112th speed. Your Fei Xiao's crit rate should ideally be anywhere from 80 to 100% in combat, and her crit damage should end around 125 to 150%, which is quite an easy feat to achieve with Robin and other teammates that Fei Xiao likes to be paired with. But with all of that in mind, focus on hitting speed breakpoints first, then work on your crit ratio, and finally enjoy any attack substats you can find for your Fei Xiao. Now, Fei Xiao's best light cones are pretty simple, so we'll go through them quickly. Her strongest by far is of course her signature, I venture forth to hunt, but Worrisome Blissful and Baptism come respectably close behind in performance, although you should note that Baptism will only perform very competitively if you can consistently maintain 3 debuffs on Fei Xiao's target, which for Fei Xiao Robin teams could prove a bit tricky in some cases. If you can't splurge on those expensive light cones though, Swordplay at S5 is a pretty good alternative and is currently Fei Xiao's best 4 star light cone, then cruising in the Stellar Sea is your baseline free to play option and at S5 it performs functionally well for Fei Xiao. But anyway, moving on to Sabrina Carpenter, she will be even easier to build. Robin's entire bread and butter revolves around sharing attack to her team based on her own attack, so your job is to stack as much of that shit as possible. Any combination of two piece attack sets will work immaculate on her and her best planars by far will be between two options. Fleet of the Ageless is generally her best since it will boost her survivability and grant an attack buff to her entire team. Team. But if you're struggling with her energy needs or having a hard time getting her to act first in your turn queue, Sprightly Von Wack is an adequate alternative. With Robin's substats, she'll want an attack percent body, attack percent boots, and attack percent sphere, and then generally an energy rope, but 
Fei Xiao teams really ramp up her ability to get energy back, so if you're running other sources of energy through her planars or her light cones, you might actually be able to get away with an attack percent rope for extra damage and still consistently get her ultimate up. Finally, for Robin's light cones, she has kind of an unfortunate issue where many of her best light cones are locked behind Gacha, and her free-to-play alternatives are not great, especially in the Fei Xiao teams. <laughs> Nonetheless though, her best option is obviously her signature, Flowing Night Glow, as it gives her a massive source of energy regeneration as well as team-wide buff. It's insane for her. But other options can be great as well, such as Poise to Bloom for its supportive buffing capabilities, although it won't help with Robin's energy requirements, so you will need to build around that. The battle isn't over is also worth noting as generally Robin's best 5-star light cone if you're not using her signature, and funny enough, it's mostly just because the light cone has better stats than any options outside of her signature, and it also has a cute little energy recharge bonus on it, which Robin thoroughly enjoys. If you can't get these light cones though, other alternatives can work, but I gotta be honest, in Fei Xiao teams, they're not amazing. Tomorrow's journey at S5 is pretty decent outside of the fact that it doesn't provide any help for Robin's energy needs, but if you miss grabbing this light cone, memories of the past or meshing cogs are your only other options, and they can both work for energy reasons, they just unfortunately sacrifice a lot of Robin's buffing potential without a substantial payoff for doing so. But so, once you've finally gathered your Fei Xiao and Robin builds together, it's time to drop them into a team that fully realizes their potential together, so we'll discuss the best team options by using this little visual I made, teehee. The best variant of this team includes Fei Xiao, Topaz, Robin, and Aventurine, also called Fart Team by a lot of people, and the reason this team is so strong is because it capitalizes on every aspect of Fei Xiao and Robin's synergy that brings them to their strongest. Topaz provides lots of FUAs while increasing the damage of Fei Xiao's own, and Aventurine provides significant shielding whilst also dishing out his own frequent follow-ups, all of which attacks from the team help to drive Fei Xiao's damage as well as Robin's entire kit. However, fear not, because even though Robin is practically irreplaceable, Replaceable in this team, Topaz and Aventurine are not irreplaceable. Mathematically speaking, of course, I'm sure they're great people with irreplaceable personalities. For big PP damage though, they are fortunately kind of replaceable. Topaz can be swapped out for March 7th Hunt or the newest 4-star character Moza to perform generally similar jobs, and both of these alternatives will dish out frequent attacks through FUAs and other aspects of their kits. March 7th will generally be a lot more SP friendly for your team than Moza, but Moza's own damage and follow-up frequency do typically outperform March 7th, so there's a trade-off for ease of use for higher damage ceilings, but it's not a substantial difference either way, it's kinda just preference. Regarding Aventurine's replacements, your best sustain alternatives will always be those who can provide more than just massive shields or heals, so characters like Hua Hua, who help with Robin and your sub DPS's energy, or characters like Fu Xuan, who can mitigate damage from your team while simultaneously granting some much needed crit rate buffs as well. Other sustain units worth talking about, however, are Gallagher and Lingxia. Both perform quite similarly, and after doing some limited testing on Lingxia and the newest 2.5 event, I can confidently say she's typically going to be the best alternative to Aventurine since she not only provides comfortable healing and a decent chunk of personal damage, but she also drives Fei Xiao's ultimate and Robin's kit quite well with her summons as well as her own abilities, which are all attacks. But that about sums up everything you need to know about Fei Xiao and Robin and why they're so strong together. I don't think it's fair to say that Fei Xiao is only functional with Robin because she's a very strong DPS through and through, so she'll be a good centerpiece to basically any follow-up team you want to build around but without Robin and without their massive enhancements to one another's kits, there is a noticeable amount of power left to be desired. But that's basically everything I had to say. If this video helped you or you just enjoyed listening to my disembodied voice, subscribe! And also follow me on Twitch and join my Discord server. You might meet a new best friend in there or something like that. We're all really nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go bam 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 some more suspiciously attractive enemies with my face out. I'll see you guys in the next one.